CBC News. And Paul Robitaille on why Canada may benefit from the stunning election result in Mexico. The National with Allison Smith. Mexico's president-elect has said he wants to run the country more like a business. And today, there are strong signs that business likes Vicente Fox. The peso and the Mexican stock market were up. That's the first time that's happened after a presidential election in some time. Fox also laid out his economic vision today, a vision that includes Canada. The CBC's Paul Robitaille reports from Mexico City. This friendly meeting between Mexico's outgoing and incoming presidents was what all Mexicans were waiting for, especially the business community. <laughs> and Mexico's president-elect Vicente Fox was quick to set out his priorities for a series of bold economic changes, including taking NAFTA much further. Where we can move upwards from a trade agreement to a community uh, of nations agreement or a North American common market. He goes as far as saying that one day the U.S., Mexico, and Canada might even share a common currency. Yes, I'll be visiting Canada. Above all, he promises that the relationship with Canada will be a special one. We see a great, great potential uh, in this trade uh, level that we can accomplish between Mexico and Canada. Before NAFTA, Mexico barely registered on the radar screens of corporate Canada. Since then, it has risen to become Canada's fourth largest trading partner. Canadian companies like the transport giant Bombardier have invested a total of $3.2 billion here. Bombardier alone has quintupled its sales and workforce in the past three years. Fox's decisive victory could very much benefit the flow of business between the two countries. He's a businessman, or has been, so he knows what business is about. It's very, uh, very positive for the country. I think it will have implication for all on the political aspect of Mexico, economical aspect. Analysts say it is the first time in 20 years an incoming Mexican president is likely not to inherit an economic crisis. That could give Vicente Fox much-needed breathing room to tackle his ambitious economic program. Paul Robitaille, CBC News, Mexico City.